Okay, good morning, 7th graders. Homeschooling at its best. This is the package you can find on the Dotson homepage under my name. The 7th grade packet starts off with Module 2. It's a review packet of ratios, proportions, expressions, and equations. Now, I know you should know ratios and proportions you've been doing on and off through the whole year. Very important topic. Okay, um, I'm trying this from home again with my bad arm, but it should be okay. I can write. Um, this ought to be fun. If you hear my dogs bark in the background, that's Max and Marley. Hi, Marley's down here right now. Uh, this is my little studio setup, but I'm going to go page at a time. So ideally, if you were to print these out or receive them from school, if not, they're definitely on the Dotson home page under my name, open up the seventh grade assignment. Okay? So this is where you would start, all right? Find this module two, ratios and proportions. I believe it starts on page 20 of the uh, downloaded um, document that is on the home page. Okay, so again, here's the first page is just the table of contents. Notice there's le nine lessons. This should take um, probably two weeks worth of work. We're gonna go slow. There's no reason to get crazy about this. It's very simple. All right, so the first page. Okay, bear with me. We go page at a time here. Need a calculator, probably the best thing to have on your side. Um, so you can do the math calculations accurately and with some speed. Okay, so ratios and proportions to a quick review. Uh, you, I know you guys really didn't have me, so, but math is all about pencil, 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 pencil. But if, for my point, I've been using this kind of pen to show you some highlights and figures and such so that you can see things uh, a little better, okay? See if I can zoom in a smidge here, make this a little bit bigger. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Ratios and rates. Uh, the copy is a little bit light, but we can manage, I think. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers called terms. For example, if there are two red apples and three green apples in a basket, we can write this as a ratio of the words 2 to 3. As a fraction, it's 2 over 3. Or with a colon, it's 2 to 3. You would read this as 2 to 3. Ratios can be used to compare parts to parts. Okay, parts to parts parts to a whole group, or a whole to a part. Three different ways of, of setting up a ratio, three different ways of writing a ratio. All right? All the same. They all mean the same. A rate is a special kind of ratio that compares two quantities of different units. For example, speed, such as 40 miles in two hours, is a rate. It is not the unit rate. The unit rate would be how much is it per one. And if you divide it here, it would come out to be 40 over 2, which is 40 over 2 is actually 20 over 1. So the unit rate is 20 miles, this is miles, per hour. Okay? And uh, I'm sorry, here we did that here. 20 miles per hour, and that is called the unit rate when it is per one. Very important to understand the unit rate is per one. Per one. Whatever you're working on. Could be buying food, could be buying apples, snacks, buying notebooks, whatever it is per one. Okay, let's try the example. There are 10 boys and 14 girls in the school cars. What is the ratio of, now, this is what I suggest on any kind of word problem, you underline the key facts. What is the ratio of the boys to all the girls? So I underline boys to, oh, sorry, to all students in the chorus. It's not boys to girls, it's boys to all students in the chorus. The ratio of boys to all students, so here we go, boys to all students, keywords, is a comparison of a part to the whole. Well, we got to figure out the whole. Simple math. Boys over total students. Ten boys. Okay, we had ten. Ten boys. But how many total students are there? Twenty-four. 
because boys plus girls made the 24, so 10 out of 24. You simplify the fraction. 10 over 24, the common um, factor between 10 and 24 is 2. Divide by 2, I get 5. Divide by 2, I get 12. So the simplified fraction is 5 twelfths. Okay, can be written as 5 to 12 or 5 to 12. All right, so now let's think about the wording. It was, what was the ratio of boys to all students? So there are five boys to all 12 students. Okay, five boys to all 12 students. So in a group of 12 students, five will be boys. All right, on the bottom. Let me move my light here. There we go. You should see this contraption set up here. I got lights on tripods and such. Okay. So, <clears throat> example two. Money buying purchasing is very much um, a unit rate lesson. Very important. Important in life when you go shopping. You want to know what things cost by the unit rate. June pays $1.95 for half a pound of peanuts. Huh, what is the unit price per pound? Well, that's interesting. So, $1.95 for half a pound. Notice how it's set up, like a fraction. $1.95 over a half a pound equals $1.95 over 0.5. So, we went from a fraction form of one half made in, into a decimal. You'd like to work with same, same um, uh, type of units either decimal form or fraction form. Definitely decimal is easier. Okay, a unit price is an example of a unit rate. So divide to find the unit price. So $1.95 divided by 0.5. Okay, $1.95 divided by 0.5. Do your division on your calculator. So when you put the number in the calculator, $1.95 goes in first. $1.95 divide by 0.5, okay? And you get three ninety or three dollars and ninety cents per one. Okay, kind of makes sense. So if a half a pound's a dollar ninety-five, you could also say a whole pound would be a dollar ninety-five twice. Either multiply them or or multiply by two or just simply add would be the same thing. Okay, and you get three dollars and ninety cents for a whole pound. Okay, so the unit price is price per pound per one. $3.90 per pound. Got it? All right. All right, since we can't do this one, count the number of boys and girls in your class and write a ratio of boys and girls to your class. Okay, well, since we are home and I don't know what your class is, my class right now is me and Marley, and so it's a girl and a boy. Marley's a boy, so I'm going to go. It's girls to boys, meaning my, me is one girl to one boy. So it's one to one in, in my studio room here. <laughs> Gotta have some fun. Okay, simple? Good. Next page. Guided practice. So the lesson is always the first page, then we have a guided practice page, and then we have two pages that are kind of like the homework page. All right, and that would take care of one lesson. Shouldn't take you all that long. All right, guided practice. Francisco's bedroom has a width of 12 feet and the length of 15 feet. What is the length to width? Now guys, this is where I want you to really be careful. Underline, what are they asking you? Length to width, so that's easy. It's right there, length to width ratio of the bedroom. Make a fraction. Always, this is the first one, this is the second. So length over width. Length to width is 15 to 12. Fill it in, oh, 15, they gave me that, over 12, done. Simplify, so 15 over 12, okay? Do not make it an improper fraction. I'm sorry, it is improper. Don't make it a mixed number. Uh, just simplify by common factor. So the common factor between these two uh, is, let's see, what number goes into 15, goes into 12. Doesn't 3 go into both? How many 3s are in 15? There is 5. How many 3s are in 12? 4. Okay? So the length to width ratio is 5 to 4. Can also be written as as 5 over 4 or 5 to 4. Got it? Okay. A ratio is written as 15 or 12 is not, not the same as an, an, that's not like an improper fraction. 
the ratio 15 to 12 is not equal to the mixed number of that. Even though in fraction form we say that, but you don't want to change it, okay? You want to just simplify it, okay? Because think of this fraction line as really the two line, how you say a ratio is. 5 to 12. Katia walks a half a mile in one-sixth of an hour. What is her unit rate of speed? Unit rate of speed. So let's think. It is miles per, this line is key, per hour. Okay. So we write half a mile in one-sixth of an hour. So one-half is going to be divided by one-sixth. Remember your sixth grade math. When you divide fractions, it's keep, change, flip. So one half divide by one six. The reciprocal of one six is six over one. So one half divide by one six is one half times six over one. Now I'm going to do it down here. One half times six over one. We can simplify here to make life a little easier. Two and six 2 can divide into 6, so I'm going to simplify 2 into 2 once. How many 2's are in 6? 3. Okay, now straight multiply across the top. 3 times 1 is 3, and on the bottom I have 1. So, the answer here is 3 miles per hour. Okay, so it's 3 over 1, and it's 3 miles per hour. Finding the unit rate. Unit rate is often with distance and time, okay? And it's the miles per hour, miles per minute, miles per second, inches per second, whatever the, the wording is. And per, per always means to divide. Got it? Very nice. Okay, next page. All right, next page. Independent practice. And independent practice is just that. You're supposed to write this. What is a ratio? And what are the three ways to write the ratio? Guys, you go back to the first page. It's right there. Ratios and rates. Definitions right there. So you're going to rewrite that definition up here. Okay. What is a rate? All right. So copy from first page. I am not writing this. You can do this. That's simple. Definitions. What is the unit rate? Give an example. I'll give you an example. Miles per, this is the per line, per hour. Or price per item. Two very, very common um, examples. Okay, I'll stick with red. I think it's better. Got it? Okay, down here. Simplify each ratio, if possible, then write it in two different ways. Three to four. Okay, this is three to four or three to four. The wording two, the fraction form or colon. Can I simplify three over four? Nope, that's it. <clears throat> Okay, I want you to try those a little bit on your own, and I will come back and do them with you in two seconds.